good, YouTube? It's your boy, John Cannon. And y'all, first of all, before we get started, <clears throat> check out that new merch. Train good, eat good, sleep good. And that's a good ass life. You already know what it is. But after that shameless plug, let's go ahead and talk about some shit. Let's go ahead and talk about some shit. Bull. Today's topic is going to be very simple. It's going to be about Mr. Elliot Tay Jose, okay? Uh, bars. Whoa, I'm nasty with it. Uh, about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago when I wasn't posting videos, y'all, last video, if you don't know why I wasn't, go watch that video. But I saw Vegan Gains, and I saw like three other YouTubers um, talking about... What's going on with Elliot Hulse? And apparently Elliot Hulse is holding these alpha male camps. He's turning beta, beta males into alpha males. He's turning little boys into men in like a week of camp or something. Maybe two weeks of camp. I don't know how long it is, but I know it costs two, two grand. Ah! Two Gs! Dose! If I knew another language for two, I would say that too, as well, together with. Check me out. So, I just really, in this video, I wanna break down how people like Elliot Hulse, how they're arguing to their own detriment. So let's get into it. All right, so first off, let's start with this um, little interview he had. He was, I don't know where, who was interviewing him, maybe some news station. He was doing a little sit-down interview with a guy, and he asked this question. I mean, there's a point where a male-only kind of dominant society does hurt itself, no? Should women have the right to vote? I don't really about the GTO pickle chin that boy. Depends on who you ask. He asked if women should have the right to vote. And Elliot Hulse said some shit like, it depends on who you ask. And that's very clear, it's very clear what he's trying to do. See, Elliot Hulse, a lot of people may see him and go, this guy is fucking dumb. But he's not dumb, he's actually very smart. He's pandering to the people who are gonna pay him two grand to be changed from a sheep to a wolf in a week. Like, that is who he's pandering to. But also, a part of that I want to break down is um, quite complex, so just, this, this video might get lengthy. Let me just explain to you what I mean. When you talk about, uh, should a woman be able to vote? Should a black person be able to vote? Should a person who's not like you be able to vote? That's basically someone saying, hey, do you think this person contributes enough to society to have a say in society? And his answer said some shit with, with some shit like, I'm sure there was wisdom in the choice not to give women the choice to vote. Because I think there was wisdom in the old way as well. But there's pro progress in the new way as well also too. So I, don't, I really can't say right or wrong. And to that I agree, I'm sure there was some wisdom. See, back in the day, before black people, women, uh, anybody else but white dudes ran the country, back then, there's two main things from that part of society that I would not agree with for women not being able to vote, but that I could see the reason, right? So, back then, women to men especially white men, the men who were the most powerful, had every advantage ever, be, legally, literally, other people could not vote, other people could not eat their shit in the same place, like, legally had the absolute advantage. If you wanna tell me that someone who has no aspirations in life, like women back then, basically they were just these baby-making people and that was it. They were just these things that made the population bigger, right? Because that's what men had dwindled women down to at that point. 
And so the wisdom in the choice not to give women the choice to vote was that. Like, you don't contribute to society, so you don't get to vote. It's kind of like how, uh, like I don't agree with it still today, like convicts, they get out of prison, they're not, they, they're stripped of their ability to vote because they feel like they have been to the detriment of society or whatever, right? Um, but today is very different. And I'm about to wrap this all up with a pretty bow. Let me explain to you what I mean. Oh, before I say that, the second part is that back then women didn't contribute to, to society in terms of money, like greatly. Like a lot of women literally just married young, had babies, cooked, cleaned, and that was it. So like, I don't, it's just like I don't think men should have some colossal say in what women do with their body. I don't think people with no money at all should have half of the say or more than half of the say than the people with the money should. And when I say with the money, I don't mean the top 1%. I'm talking about middle class people should not have their money ruled by people who don't make any money. You understand what I'm saying? And so back then, I'm sure that was the wisdom to it. But what people who still believe in that shit in 2019, let me tell you what they want. They want that shit to come back because they are beta male cucks. If a man tells you that he doesn't want a woman to have a certain amount of power, um, to be equal, to do this and that, and the, he is a fucking beta male. Only beta males, only weak ass people in general think that you have to decrease someone so that you have to be better. What the actual fuck? What the actual fuck? Let me tell you, like, like, I can't even wrap my mind around how weak of a little beta bitch cuck fucking Elliot Hulse has to be. Like, bro. There, there's something to be said about conquering competition, whether it be a man or a woman or a Muslim person or a gay person or any of that. When everybody's equal, it is harder. When everybody's on the same playing field, it is harder. You being a man shouldn't have to feel like women need to be less so that you feel like more because Think about how counterproductive that is to growth. Motherfucker, you're here, right, in life. You're here, right here, average. And you see a motherfucker right here with you, but you wanna be great. So instead of working hard and doing better, you say, I can be higher than everybody if I just fucking knock this person down. So look, ain't shit change about me. I ain't shit change, but I'm looking down at this motherfucker. I ain't shit change, but I'm still higher. I'm better. And that's all that that type of thought breeds. That's all that that breeds. You think these, you think a certain group of people shouldn't be, shouldn't have the same basic rights as you because of how you were born? Imagine if everybody thought like that. Damn, that would be fucked up. It'd almost be like, like, like before the civil rights movement. That's fucking weird. Like if you really just take a step back and think about that, you're so, if any man who doesn't want women to have the same rights as them is a beta male. And that's how I came to the conclusion that Elliot Hulse is a fucking beta male, okay? And here's and here's the, the the last point I want to make, and here's the fucking kicker. It's 2019. About to be, I just I can't wait till it's 2020 so I can say motherfucker, it's 2020, right? But let's just, okay, it's 2019. Back in the day when there's less competition and there's less people to rule certain areas of life, it was easier to be an alpha male because to be an alpha male, you have to first define what the fuck an alpha male is. And to me personally, and to a lot of people, I know what I'm about to say is the definition. It's the person who is the biggest, baddest motherfucker in said area. So you, so like if you are rich, jacked, athletic, smart, back in the day, that's it. That's it, that's all you needed. You needed to be a young male who, you know, you were, you were good in stature, you had money, and you were kind of smart. 
And that's it, you beat all the other males. It's no different than fucking monkeys. All right, I don't know where I was, but basically I, you, think about monkeys and shit, right? Back in the day before there was humans, monkeys. It was very easy to be an alpha male, okay? So easy to be an alpha male, bro. All you had to do was be the biggest, strongest, and loudest. Probably the best at fighting, a little, little bit here and there, but posturing was all that you needed. Bitch, I'm bigger, move, and the other monkeys run. Now you get to fuck all the monkey bitches, all right? That's all you gotta do to be the alpha male back then, right? And as time progresses, as we have our evolution, it's harder and harder to be the alpha male because there's so many sections of life. Just imagine, after we're fucking monkeys, we're spear hunting, and we gotta make traps and be smarter than these fucking animals. Now we gotta be smart, big, fast, good climbers, and all this. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, there goes another. Another thing we gotta be good at to be the alpha male. Now we gotta fight wars with other fucking monkey hybrid breed motherfuckers. Oh, now I gotta be a, a good general. You understand what I'm saying? Like being the alpha male is getting harder and harder. And so when you wanna define what an alpha male is, you gotta look at every aspect of life. Are you the shit on social media? Because there's an alpha male in your area there. Are you the shit on, uh, I guess YouTube is social media, but like, like, are you the shit on YouTube? Since we're talking about a YouTuber, are you the shit on YouTube? Are you the guy? Do you get the most views, the most subscribers? When people think about a great YouTuber, do they think about you? Oh shit, Instagram, you got the most followers? You get the most engagement? Hmm? Does your family think you're alpha male? Are you different on social media than you are at home? Oh shit, now it's getting technical. We already have four. Uh-oh, do you make the most money? Because it seems like everybody making money now. Oh no. Are you the biggest? Are you the fastest? Are you the, the you know what I'm saying, the strongest? God damn, that's eight. Are you the smartest? Are you the most socially fucking gifted person? Can you start a conversation with anybody about anything? Oh damn, we can stop there. We can stop there. The real answer is very, very simple. There is no one man on this earth who is an alpha male anymore. Not at all. There are motherfuckers making millions of dollars a month playing Fortnite. Y'all know who Ninja is? Y'all know who Tifu is? We're talking about video games at this point. Do y'all know who those people are? They're alphas of Fortnite. So imagine The Rock going to the gym, fucking the shit up. Rich, famous, got all the followers, picks up a controller and tries to kill Ninja or Tifu and just gets pickaxed. Just gets eaten the fuck alive. Guess what? You're not an alpha male online. Damn, the world has changed. And people who want to just keep going back to before how it was now, they want to be alpha males so bad, so they're trying to make everything so simple and take everything back to the primal start so that it's easier for them to be alpha males. But guess what, bitch? You ain't no fucking alpha male. It's hard to be an alpha male now. Now gyms have basketball courts. Oh, you the strongest nigga in the gym? Walk to the basketball court and get balled on by a skinny tall nigga. Wow, that's crazy. You're not even an alpha male in the same building. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. So, all this talk about alpha male, beta male, this and that. Look, you're going to be the alpha in life. You're going to be the alpha male one second and the beta male the next second because you don't know everything. And anybody who assumes that they can teach you how to be a full-blown alpha male in one week for $2,000 is out of their fucking mind. Take a silverback gorilla, the biggest one in the fucking in the fucking world, the biggest, most gargantuan, most savage silverback gorilla and throw him in the goddamn ocean next to a baby shark and see how fast he get his shit fucked up. You understand? It's just where you at. So if you around a bunch of ballers and you got the most money, I bet damn Bill Gates walk in the room, you ain't shit. You gotta understand. 
You're the alpha male for a moment. You're never the alpha male. You're never the guy. Never. You're not a fucking alpha male. Shit, I'm not a fucking alpha male. Stop trying to give your, yourselves these blanket statements to cover up your insecurities. Cut it out. Elliot Holtz, I'm talking to you. You might fuck me up in a gym. Shit, you might fuck me up in a fight, but I'll fuck you. I'll wet your ass on a basketball court. Hop on Fortnite. I'll tear your ass up, boy. You ain't no fucking alpha male because you screaming at little skinny bitch boys who want to be men so bad that they paid another man to tell them how to be a man. You want to know what the best teacher is, who the best teacher is at showing you how to be a fucking man. <laughs> Number one, your damn daddy, first of all. Your father, the nigga who nutted you into your mom's. Number two, life out here. Bills out here. Women out here. Y'all never give women enough credit for making y'all men. And y'all ain't shit for that. That's how I know y'all are. Look, 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 look. You may not be able to spot an alpha male in every situation, but you can spot a beta male. A guy who don't want to give a woman no credit for nothing? You don't want to give a woman no credit for nothing? You ain't shit, yo! You don't want to give a credit... You don't want to give her credit for making you into a better man. You don't want to give your mama no credit. You know what I'm saying? Like... Y'all ain't shit. Y'all gonna pay a man to just stand in front of you, tell you to fucking shake your chest to get all the bad feminine energy out of you so you can ah, be a f Shake your shit, shake your balls, breathe! And then ground. Deeper sounds go deeper into your body. The deeper the sound, the closer to your balls it is. Be a fucking alpha man. Look, look, look. If you're watching this and you're a fan of Elliot Holtz, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. All right, I'm sorry if I snatched balls off your king and showed you that these, this, this nigga got balls just like you, all right? But bro, he can't teach you how to be a, a alpha male in a week by painting your face and screaming out all of your negative energy. It just don't work like that. Bro, you gonna have to fucking chase girls, get your little heart broke, learn a lesson about who you need to be. You gonna have to, <laughs> like I can't tell you all that you gonna have to do, but you gonna have to do a lot of stuff, man. You gonna have to learn what a hard day's work means for years and years and years while still being broke. You gonna have to learn some shit. But it ain't a $2,000 class. Nigga, if it was a $2,000 class to show a man how to be a man, more than Elliot Holtz would be, dude, them shits would be everywhere. And they will be popping all over the new, everywhere, bro. Just, just cut it out. And y'all, I'm not saying let life teach you, like go make all these bad mistakes, but just live your life. Make better decisions for yourself. And you can come into who you are as a man. You don't have to be the biggest, loudest, toughest motherfucker. You don't have to be. Somebody's always tougher than you. I feel like there's not many men on this earth who can whoop my ass. But I know somebody can. Like, like what's up? I'll fight anybody with no fear in my heart. But somebody gonna whoop my ass if I fight enough people. I'ma get my shit rocked. Yo. But like, y'all understand. I, 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 I beat that dead horse. You know what I'm saying? He about to come back to life again. Appreciate y'all for watching. Merch dropping next week. Get you some. Got this color. Got some military green. Fuck it up. All y'all need to do is remember three things and y'all gonna be all right. And that's if you train good, eat good, and sleep good, then that's a good-ass life. Bye.